NFT prices have gone absolutely parabolic lately and this piece of digital artwork right here sold for over 7.5 million dollars the new york times is calling it nft mania as things are selling for 69 million dollars so if you're sitting on the sidelines thinking hey i could create my own nfts i might want to sell some of these then this video is for you Hey everyone and welcome, I'm the Part-Time Economist and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create your very own NFTs on Atomic Assets very simply, very easily. So with that being said, the first thing you'll want to do is go to wax.atomichub.io and you will want to create an account. Now, just to show you, I'll go ahead and log out. Go ahead and log in. You can log in with Wax Cloud Wallet, Anchor, or Scatter. Personally, I find the Cloud Wallet the easiest. You simply enter a username a password it's your email address so there's no 12 words to remember anything like that it's simple easy to get started with so that being said we're kind of on the main page here we want to go to nft creator and I'm going to show you how to create an NFT, but we do have to do just a little background explanation first. Before you create an NFT, you want to create a collection and a collection is basically just a group of things. So Pokemon cards, all Pokemon cards are within the collection Pokemon. All Digimon cards are in the collection Digimon cards, right? So these are kind of broad categories for different groups and classes of NFTs that we're wanting to create. So to do that, you would simply cr click on create new collection and you have to fill out a few things. So the collection name is exactly 12 characters, A to Z, lowercase numbers one through five. Don't ask me why it's like this. Don't ask me why it can't be 11 numbers or 13 numbers. It's got to be 12. So honestly, whatever you put in there really doesn't matter because the display name is what's actually going to be shown for your collection. The website URL, you could send that to your YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatever social media you have. The description um, on mine, I just put this as a collection of NFTs for video thumbnails, basically, and then the market fee. So the cool thing with this market fee is every time your NFT is sold, you get a proportion of that. So even if someone, three or four people down the line buys it from you and sells it to someone else, you're getting a little bit of royalties off each of those sales. So that's how to create a new collection. I'm just going to get started with one that I already have, which is the part-time economist card collection. And you see that I've already filled out these details. So as I said, the display name is what really matters, the part-time economist card collection, the description, a collection of my NFT cards from some videos, market fee. I'm not trying to uh, break the bank here for anyone, uh, as low as I can set it, 5%. And then this is my website URL. So that's kind of a general overview of the collections. Now, from here, you can create an NFT if you wish. However, one last thing I want to do is a schema, and that's more or less a template that your cards are going to follow. So let's suppose that I know every of these part-time economist card collections that I'm doing, I'm going to want to give them a name, obviously, an image, a rarity level, and a mint number. So if I'm going to be doing a lot of the same things, so like po think about Pokemon again, Squirtle, Charmander, Bulbasaur, right? They're all going to have an image. They're all going to have common, rare, um, uncommon, things like that. They're all going to have certain unique characteristics, but they're going to be the same within the collection. So all of them are going to have a name. Whatever new attributes we want to add, we can. So if we wanted to add an attribute called um, hollow, right? And we could just call it a holographic card and it's going to be... Um, yes or no right so we could add whatever we wanted we could add the mint number whatever but i don't really need to change this at all so that's kind of an overview of the schemas now with that being said we're actually going to go ahead and mint our new assets so this is essentially the creation of the nft process so what we see is that since we're using that schema it already knows different attributes that are going to go into our nft so the name let's just call this um, nft creation video that's going to be the name of this NFT, the image. We will upload this. Now, one note about images. If you are looking for any kind of digital design help, I am the last person that you want to ask on this because I am not that good at all. However, a couple things to keep in mind. The dimensions of your card need to be 3600 by 4800. So whatever artwork, whatever image you want to come up with that meets those dimensions, that's going to be what you want to do. Um, you don't have to be very fancy to do this. You can do it I'll show you here. I, I just did it really within um, 
open office or Excel or sorry not Excel PowerPoint or even this open office knockoff just make sure that you resize your canvas and I'll show you how to do that you want to go to format and then you want to format your page make sure it's 36 by 48 and this is in inches doesn't matter as long as those dimensions are the same create whatever you want to create you could do the same thing in GIMP by resizing your canvas to 3600 by 4800 however you do it as long as you get your image to fit those formats that's what matters again I'm not a digital design expert um, someone else could help you a lot better than I could with respect to that we're gonna go ahead and upload our image and I think I saved this as first edition card you want to make sure that your final format is less than two megabytes again not a huge issue so there's our card there's kind of our outline of how all of that would look um, you can play with it you could really do whatever you want but whatever image you upload that's how our cards are gonna look the text the rarity this is the very first edition the very first one we're making so um, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna make this uh, let's go with rare why not right and mint this is obviously gonna be the first mint so I could come back and maybe let's say I meant more cards or something, this is always going to be the first edition. So with that being said, we have to do our final thing, which is entering the number of copies that we want to make between one and 10. And you're going to see that we're going to get an error message here. So I'm telling you we're getting an error in advance so you don't think that I messed something up. What when we hit create asset, that's going to be a little bit of what we're doing. It says if we're using a template, um, which we are not, this series and we're going to click confirm now it's hopefully going to reject us because I want to show you something important all right it's going to reject us we're going to try it again and it's still going to reject us because it's going to tell us that we need 7582 bytes of RAM and we only have 5495 so the way that the wax blockchain works you have to have a certain amount of RAM to do um, operations so it's how they allocate storage space and stuff like that on the blockchain not a huge deal um, if you're getting started created in NFTs, I tried and sliced and diced this every way. I tried decreasing the number of attributes. I tried uploading smaller images. I tried minting one card instead of 10 cards. One thing that I can tell you is the fewer cards you mint, it will take less RAM. So if you remember on that previous one, it was saying it was gonna take us like 7,000. Um, if we only mint two cards, it says, well, you only need 5,300 or you only need 5,700. So the smaller number of cards you mint, the less RAM you take up. Obviously, I do want to mint 10, so to do that, I need to get some wax. And it's kind of hard to get, um, at least for me, it's not on Coinbase. The only place that I've been able to find that has it is KuCoin and Bitrex. I'm a little bit more familiar with Bitrex, so I'm going to go through the process of showing you how to get that there. So if you all remember in the first part of the video, I kind of hit a roadblock where I couldn't create my NFT because I didn't have enough RAM, and in turn, I didn't have enough RAM because I didn't have enough wax. Now, I went through probably three hours of trying to figure out how to get wax between transferring stuff to Bitrex and then converting from BCH to Tether to try to buy wax only to find out that my order was too small and I don't know why I didn't know this but there's literally a place right here where you can literally buy wax directly within um, your wax cloud wallet so I've not even checked this out I actually went through and bought it through Bitrex but yeah apparently you can buy directly within the wax wallet so that would have saved me a lot of time and effort but that being said I've already bought a little bit through Bitrex so we're gonna go ahead and withdraw that and we want to go to receive we want to click on our public key here and then we want to paste that into our wallet address and we want to withdraw the max amount there and we want to go ahead and withdraw and the last thing I will need to do is enter my Bitrex passcode now obviously this would have been a whole lot easier if I simply would have done it through the wax cloud wallet but I simply did not know that that was available to me at the time okay so there we go that was actually pretty fast less than a minute or two we've got those funds in our wallet now remember what we want to do is we want to go back to creating this NFT so we can create a number between 1 and 10. Since this is a first edition, the first card here, I am going to create all 10 of those. It's going to be rare. Basically just doing a final check over everything that we are doing. We're going to click Create Asset. And then what we're going to see, once again, it is going to reject us. But this time, we are going to have the ability to buy more RAM. So we're still getting rejected, which is fine. 
but this time remember we do it once it rejects us we do it the second time and it tells us why we're rejected and it gives us the amount to buy that ram so i can buy more than as much ram as i need simply for one wax so um really the thing i want to point out is yes i did have to buy wax but the amount that you need is very, very small. So I think the price right now of wax is around a quarter. So, I mean, a quarter really to create our NFT is not big at all. Um, but again, that being said, you can't usually just buy one wax. You'll have to buy a certain minimum amount. I think when I bought it on Bitrex, my minimum amount was about $20. But you can use that wax for other things such as buying NFTs, um, in-game items, stuff like that. So just be aware it isn't something that you'll be able to do with a starter account you will have to spend at least a little bit unless there's some workaround that you all know about that i don't so let's go ahead and buy that ram and it's going to authorize the transaction we're going to go ahead and improve it because we do want to create those nfts says success so we've got that and now we can confirm but this time hopefully everything should go through and those nfts actually will be minted Okay, so now within my collection, we see that I do indeed have this inventory. So I've got the NFTs here of the part-time economist first video. So, I mean, it's just something really cool to do. Now, one thing that I will show you is these are not technically whitelisted NFTs. You have to go through a little bit of a process to get um, basically whitelisted. So I'm not currently there. However, they're still there. They're still real NFTs. You can still do a lot of things. You can transfer them. You can burn them. And what I'm actually going to do just to show you that this is indeed a real NFT that I can trade, that I can send to a different account. I actually have a different cloud wallet that I'm using within the Chrome browser. So I'm going to transfer one over to there just so you all can see that this is real, that this does actually work. So I'm logged in here on this secondary account that I have and all I'm going to do is I want to receive a card. So I'm going to go ahead and copy. Oop, I actually want to make sure I copy it instead of just highlighting it. I want to go ahead and copy that and then I'm going to go back over here to my main account and I'm going to send that NFT to my secondary account. And to do that I'm simply going to click send. I'm going to select send transfer and it's going to ask us and I want to click confirm transaction is successful and then if I go back here to my secondary accounts what I want to do is go to my inventory and we'll see that I do indeed have that part-time economist NFT video creation NFT so again it's something fun it's something to play around with obviously if you have better design skills than me you can do a whole lot more with this but I just wanted to give you a general overview of the process of the procedure how it works now not only can I just create these and sell them but what I can also do is I can list them on the marketplace now remember um, if I sell it I obviously get a portion of those proceeds if someone else sells it down the line I continue getting those as well all right so I'm here on my inventory I can list these cards on the market so I can put in the amount of wax that I want to sell this for there's a collection fee marketplace fee and tokenomics fee so various fees it actually tells you how much you will actually receive out of that I can also put it up for auction with a starting amount of a certain amount of wax certain amount of fees um, a a various things I can do with that I can also burn these tokens so if let's say I created all of these and I said you know what, I want to increase the rarity I can burn half of them or whatever I wanted to do so you can do a lot of really cool things with this um, so what I'm actually gonna do is I actually want to give away some of these NFTs and I think I'm gonna give away five now this is my first creation they are given away absolutely without any warranty anything like that um, completely at your own risk, completely free, not an investment, anything like that, right? Um, that being said, I'm going to be publishing this video on multiple places. So if you're watching on Uptrend, if you're watching on Publish OX, YouTube, Library, I publish so many different places, but wherever you're watching this video, what I want you to do is go to YouTube and leave your public address for your wax wallet. I will send you uh, let's just do the top five. So the first five people to comment their wax address, I will do my best and try and send you these NFTs. Again, no warranty, no guarantee whatsoever, but I will try my best and I'll keep checking back on that video. So probably the first week. So if only three people comment, then three people comment them. So I'm not going to be checking the video a month or a year from now, but at least for the first week, I'll check the top five comments. I will do my best to go ahead and send those to you.
So in general, that is a very basic, very beginner overview of how to create those NFTs with atomic assets. You can create them, you can burn them, you can list them on the marketplace, you can transfer them to other people. So as always, I'd like to say thank you for watching. I hope you got something out of the video. If there's any other topics you all want me to take a look at, be sure to leave a link down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.